This one's explosive. the lobby of Reliance Aviation. I'm gonna go to the pilot's lunch, so let's go so you guys can hear the briefing of today's flight. Let's go. Got my pilot, Jose Lopez, right here for the brief. Let's go. Hey, Jose, what's going on, hey, man? Guys. Good to see you, bro. Man, here. Talk to me about the briefing. Talk to me about the flight today, man. Well, yes, man, today I was uh, actually checking uh, big weather that it was actually north of Naples, but thank God that it, we moved towards the northwest. And okay. you see it just going away. This is our route right here. And then, uh, well, there's a small storm right here by the airport, but uh, we're gonna take off in about 45 minutes, so that will be gone. And uh, our right, flight today, like I say, it's gonna take us to Naples. Uh, so when we take off, our initial altitude is gonna be 2,000 feet. That way we stay below class Bravo from Miami, class B airspace. Once we pass that boundary, we're gonna climb to 4,500, all the way ac across from the, you know, the, the state. And uh, they're using runway 23 at Naples. So that's gonna be a left turn. We figure all that out when we get there. And uh, one thing is that I find out the FBO is temporarily moved to another place. I have an idea what it is, but it's, if anything, we can ask for uh, progressive uh, taxi and we'll be good. So you guys better be hungry. Hey, I'm hungry. Are you guys are? Let's go. D1 Burger Part 2, Naples. <laughs> I'm telling you, you better be hungry. We're gonna eat some ribs today. I'm real hungry. Hello everybody, I'm here over here at the hangar at Rico Aviation. Jose, talk to me. This is the plane that we're gonna use today. What type of plane yeah, is so it? This is a Cessna 172. This is the airplane we're gonna be using for our video today. And actually, after we take off from Tamiami, we are going to be crossing the state of Florida from east to west, right over the Everglades. Thousands of uh, acres of swamp, where you can see actually uh, the colors, different colors blending together. We're gonna pass to a place named uh, 10,000 Islands, and also a city named Everglades City. And that's when we are going to start our descent uh, into Naples, which is gonna be about close to an hour flight. Weather is a little bit here, uh, bad weather, but uh, we're gonna go around that. Then the rest of the route looks really good, so we're ready to go. That's ready, baby. Let's go, Naples. Here we go. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. This is Captain Big O speaking. We are currently cruising at 4,000 feet altitude. Our final destination, Naples, Florida. Stay tuned. Captain Big O speaking. We currently at 30,000 feet. Welcome everybody to our cyber fleet of jet planes. This is Captain Big O speaking. Enjoy, and don't forget to CD1 Burger exclusively in the Big O Travel Channel on YouTube. Welcome everybody to our new episode of D1. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board and to the second episode of D1 Burger. This is Captain Lapito speaking. We are currently at 3,000 feet. Our final destination is Naples, Florida. Hope you guys are hungry. This episode of D1 Burger. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the Big O Travel Channel on YouTube. Enjoy the view. This is Captain Big O speaking. Welcome to Mickel Bob, where they say the best ribs of America. Our final destination is the world. Stay tuned. Captain Big O speaking. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. This is Captain Big O speaking. Your final destination is the world. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the Big O Travel Channel on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Big O speaking. We have just been cleared to land at the Naples, Florida airport. Please make sure one last time your seatbelt is securely fastened. Captain Big O flying with future commercial pilot Jose Lopez would like to say thank you for joining us. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Big O speaking. We have just been cleared to land at the Naples, Florida airport. Please make sure one last time your seatbelt is securely fastened. Captain Big O flying with future commercial pilot Jose Lopez would like to say thank you for joining us. Enjoy the view. Wow, so many cool airplanes in our final destination is Naples, Florida. This is Captain Big O. Finally landed here. I'm so hungry I can't wait to get to Nickel Box. So um, just stay tuned. As you know, look at the view, beautiful place, beautiful people of people. So let's go. Stay tuned, alright? Let's go people. Welcome to Pickle Bob, where they say the best ribs of America. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we finally landed in Naples. I'm over here at the restaurant that Jose has chose to us, so we can eat and have a really, really good lunch. I can't wait for it, but but no further notice. I'm gonna let him introduce the restaurant. Tell me, Jose, why we here? Why this restaurant? Okay, uh, this is another one of my airplane gets away. Uh, it's called Mikkel Bob Championship Ribs. I love the ribs. I, for me, it's one of the best. Okay, my my favorite restaurant here in Naples. Like always, I fly people in. I've been doing that for a while. I love also their onion rings. They're homemade. Uh, everything is smoked, starting with the ribs, chicken, uh, brisket, steaks. They got French fries, uh, baked potatoes. Uh, they got uh, shakes like vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And if you like the uh, the root beer float, this is the place to be. Well, I can't wait to eat, and they say this is the best ribs in America. So I can't wait to eat. So everybody stay tuned, and I am hungry. You better be hungry. <laughs>
And Jose, I was gonna ask you, what's the most gratifying thing for you as a pilot? Well, actually, you know, uh, for me, landings is something that I love. It's the, the, the face of the flight that I most love. And also, that after so long, mm -hmm. with uh, trying to accomplish my dream, I did it. I was 50 years old when actually I finished all my uh, ratings. Oh, yeah. Uh, how many years you been flying already? Well, actually, I, I got my private in 2006. Mm -hmm. And with that, I started flying people around, mm -hmm. uh, like here, to Marathon, different places. Mm -hmm. In 2015, I decided to go back to school, and that's when I finished everything. I did my uh, instrument rating, uh, uh, commercial single, multi, and even seaplane uh, single, commercial. Okay. Well, so I have flying with you a couple of times already. I noticed, I noticed you're very precautious with weather, safety, and all the issues you know that come to play when it comes to flying. Have you ever had a tough situation and how have you dealt with it? Well, uh, twice already I lost uh, the power on the airplane, not on the engine, just uh, the, the, the avionics. Mm -hmm. But there's ways to actually uh, fly without that and then uh, there's ways to make it to actually to the airport without any communication. Mm -hmm. Things that you can do actually to land and always be prepared because we actually we train for that mm -hmm. okay never get afraid always be on top of everything and be uh, a checklist okay. that's something that they're there for a reason okay. and you have to follow those okay. i see that you are very enthusiastic with kids and especially young people uh, why is it that and what do you do to motivate them in aviation Okay, I do that because actually it's, it's a chance that I never had, okay, and I see it like I give uh, what I love, my passion to them, and we actually we take kids up just to find out how do they like it, it's actually because they say they want to be pilots, but maybe they go one time and they change their mind, you know, but usually so far everybody that I fly, they already went to school, mostly. And I got a couple of kids already that they're finishing their license. Oh, look at that, look at that. For the future. Yes. Um, speaking about future, what are your future plans as a pilot? Well, actually, this pandemic kind of like shut down then a little bit. Now everything is coming back. There's a shortage of pilots. I'm just putting everything like for next year, mm -hmm. what I want to do. But I would like to be an airline pilot. I'll be good. Yeah. I'll be good. I know you're going to be a great pilot. Finishing my uh, the years that I have doing what I love. Good, good. Well, there you go, everybody. Interview with Jose Lopez over here at Mickey Walk. Stay tuned. All right. Man, wait till you try this. Really, really good. All right. Thank you, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, delicious food over here at Mikkel's Bar. I'm over here with Lou Bavaro, the manager of this wonderful restaurant. He got a couple of things for you, so you can come over here and enjoy this delicious food just like I did with my crew of D1 Burgers. Tell me something about your beautiful restaurant. What makes you the manager of Mikkel's Bar? Well, I, um, I actually ate here for the first time uh, 25 years ago when my girlfriend up in New York said let's go down and visit my dad's barbecue joint okay. so like I tell everyone the first time I ate here I fell in love you know and now she's my wife okay. and now I got the recipe and I'm actually partners with her father so he and I are partners Mickle Bob's I always tell everyone I'm the L in the middle okay and uh, we've been here 42 years and I've been here the last 10 Wow look at that so this is a family business it's a family business it's yeah. a you know it's a mom and pop it's a it's actually a pop and a son-in-law that's what it is so 40, <laughs> wow, 42 years that's a long time what is the key for you guys to just stop, you know, maintain yourself for 42 years? What is the key? That's a great question. The key, I think, is consistency. You know, we, we focus on quality. Uh, you know, our ribs, uh, we used to compete across America with them, and we, we used to win. Uh, we use a special rib that we bring in from uh, Denmark and Finland, from Europe. They're little, they're little baby back ribs, and they just fall right off the bone. Oh, look at that. Something that got me intriguing, the sauce. 
people, the sauce. <laughs> I know you got a special sauce and different type of sauce. Talk to me a little bit about that because actually you guys make your own sauce, right? Yep, yep. Talk to um, me about that. So Bob, when he first uh, started the restaurant, you know, he used to he used to experiment and, and uh, you know, big vats and he came, you know, he basically um, came up with the original sauce, uh, which again, he used to compete with and used to win competitions and then he expanded it to what he called the tangy sauce, which was a little more mustard based. Okay. That actually won the world's best sauce award yeah. right here. Okay. World champs. Wow, look at that. And, uh, and now we have, actually we just added, we have a sweet, tangy, uh, bold and spicy, which is kind of like a red hot. It's not a pepper, but we just added the habanero barbecue, which oh. is which is actually my favorite. Okay. Well, you know, I'm getting uh, a piece of uh, sauce for myself because you actually sell the, the sauce, right? Yep. 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 Uh, I'm taking barbecue. I'm taking barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a great day for me. Hopefully, you guys can come over here and check it out. The wonderful plate that you guys got. You want to say something to the to the people? Sure. After sure. That? Yeah. No. Thanks a lot. I appreciate. Appreciate you guys, D1 Burger, coming over. You know, we get a lot of folks uh, from all over the world, all over the country, you know, uh, especially Miami on the weekends. People come across, you know, they come across with their families, and a lot of times they just come to eat here, you yeah. know. But uh, we're at 371 Airport Road, and we're on across from the Naples Airport. And, uh, you know, come on down. We got specials every day, and we have a great staff, and, and uh, we'd love to have you come in. Micklebobs. Yes, sir. So there you go. Everybody, make sure to come over here, swim by. My boy Lou over here is gonna take care of you. Best manager in town, best restaurant in town. You can't beat that, <laughs> all right? So stay tuned, everybody. Have a wonderful day. to say that, that we use uh, Rico Aviation's uh, airplanes. They are actually really in you know, really good conditions, airworthy. And uh, if you need to rent planes or any information, just go to Rico with a double O, 3000 at yahoo.com. Um, besides that, we also would like to thank uh, Reliance Aviation for uh, letting us use the pilot room to do the before the flight briefing. And thank you again. I hope everybody has enjoyed this video, this experience on Naples. The food on Mikko Bob was amazing. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and you know that way we keep connected. Alright, I got Jose Lopez over here, I got one more thing to say, and we go from there. Yes, uh, Bigo, I want to talk about this airline in Puerto Rico named uh, Air Flamenco. It's actually a commuter airline from Puerto Rico that has uh, one of the best uh, fleet of uh, Britain Norman Islanders and Shore 360 with service between Puerto Rico, the island of Culebra, Vieques, Santo Domingo and some of the uh, British uh, Virgin Islands. And the reason I'm talking about them is because they actually do uh, dog rescue missions throughout the Caribbean where they go and take these dogs to Puerto Rico and they get in, uh, board into an airplane from Air Flamenco and they fly those uh, pets here into South Florida, actually uh, West Palm Beach where they get together with Big Ranch uh, Rescue, Big, uh, Big Ranch Dog Rescue. And from there, these dogs, get, they get relocated throughout the United States to the, their new homes. And I think it's something really amazing to do something like that, not only about your businesses, only you know, more about what you do, can do about your uh, community. And uh, also, D1 Burger yeah. would like to give this airline five stars for what they do to the owners Ruben Torres and Francisco Torres. Okay, to both. Also, uh, we have exciting news. Uh, the, we've been invited to Puerto Rico to two events. Now, 2021, Culebra and Humacao. Uh, we've been invited by Air Flamenco. They're gonna be our sponsors, and we are looking forward for that, and stay tuned. Oh, I can't wait. 
in Flamenco, Puerto Rico, my house. Keep going from there. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy. And like always, stay tuned. Captain Big O speaking. We currently at 30,000 feet. Welcome, everybody, to our cyber fleet of jet planes. This is Captain Big O flying with future commercial pilot, Jose Lopez. Please fasten your seatbelt and refrain from smoking while the no smoking sign is on. If there is anything we can do to make your flight more enjoyable, please let us know. Our final destination in the world. Stay tuned. Captain Big O Speed. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. By the way, did you know Captain Big O is working on a new project space? Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the space program coming soon. Uh. This is Captain Big O speaking. <laughs> this journey draws the world we are passing by Miami. Our final destination is the world. No Captain Big O is working on a new project space. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the space program coming soon. La opposite Eva. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just been cleared to land. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Big O speaking for the airport. Please make sure one last time your seatbelt is securely fastened. Captain Big O flying with future commercial pilot Jose Lopez would like to say thank you for joining us. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. And what's the most gratifying thing for you as a pilot? Esto fue lo que yo dije la última vez. This is Captain Big O speaking. Congratulations, Jose Lopez. You are now a commercial pilot. Good luck on your career as a pilot. Your final destination is the world. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the Big O Travel Channel on YouTube. Captain Big O flying with future commercial pilot Jose Lopez would like to say thank you for joining us. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you.